Welcome to the Puff Drink Talk podcast. I'm your host, Conrad Schubach. Dylan Wilson. Hilton Kill. Carol Bubach. And Georgia Bajan. And today, we're going to be discussing about if you won the lottery, and then the government, or the lottery association, administration, I don't know who they are, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. They came back and said, oh, <laughs> those numbers are wrong. Nice. <laughs> what would you do? Discussing that and some uh, juiced up ath- athletics. You want to go to the? You want to see some Olympians take tons of drugs and shatter world records? I don't know about you, but that Born sounds matter, right? Sounds a little crazy. Anyways, we'll be discussing yeah. that today and uh, all other topics. So stay tuned. Fasten your seatbelt. Hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share. And share. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. <laughs> basically, um, you're saying that somebody won the lottery. Yes, a man from and and they didn't get it. So a man from Washington D.C. had a winning lottery ticket. The and turned it into redeem his three hundred and forty million dollar winning prize, and uh, it was either the the. Powerball or the uh, uh, Mega Millions, I forget which one it was, yes, but the association, the whoever whoever handles it, came back and said, nope, <laughs> uh, it was a technical <laughs> error, those are the wrong numbers, oh, God. even though it was printed and distributed and shown to millions of people for three days. Well, and, and the winning ticket, right? Yeah, so he won. He won based off of their mess up. Yes. For three days, it was published that he won. So did they have two winners or something? They when they took his down. They did. The, so I don't believe it mentioned in the article. No, it's George. George. I don't yes. think so. Did they find out that it was the wrong numbers after he like submitted them? I guess like, that's yes. the only reason they caught it. Even. Yes, that's the way they caught it, and then they figured out. So um, now. How would you feel about that? I mean, I would want well, to. That's not fair. No, I would say it isn't that's, fair. Well, we have Carol here for the first time. Thank you, Carol, for joining us. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, Carol. It, we all know Carol. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, what would you think about it? I would think that's not fair. I mean, that's basically they announced it and they went too far with it and. They, they need to honor it. Yeah. And to be honest, if that's the winning number, right? Yeah. yeah glitch what, or not. What, yes. What difference does it, does it make? If those are the ones that reached the public and went on TV, those are the winning numbers. Whether it was a glitch or not, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, and I don't understand why they would come back and, and take it away from him. It's like, you're absolutely right. Those were the numbers that were published. Incorrect or not correct. One person still won the jackpot. So, like, why? What about if it is a fraud? Look. Yeah. Um, all your considerations are amazing. But, man, I think maybe this guy for the 72 hours before he was taking away everything from him, he might have spent a million dollars. He might have anticipated. He might have showed it everyone. You know, like people in the family might have <laughs> bought things on credit. Yeah. And this guy, all of a sudden, is not a millionaire anymore. Well, and so that... Multi-millionaire. Yeah, multi-millionaire. Enough for this man and his family, immediate <laughs> family, to retire comfortably. Oh, no. You know, more than that. Yeah. yeah. Three generations. Yeah, well, generational wealth. Exactly. But to that point, George... Um, I so could now, spend, man. I could spend. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I could definitely spend, too. Um, I think we would all spend. Um, But to turn that story around, now he's suing them. I don't know who them is, but he's suing them for the money for defamination, um, emotional stress, et cetera, et cetera, everything that gets amplified onto it for the winning amount plus some interest. Uh, interest so 340 million plus so i would i would think that for example if they are um 
taking this down, this route of taking this down is because um, probably the you know how all these lotteries are, right? So they have to have like a, a third party company that invest not investigate but the checks. You know how the um, you know the numbers are selected. Numbers are selected, right? Yeah. So let's say this company came and said, "Well, look, the number that is up there is not the number that was actually rolled." Mm -hmm. So now they, that's why they have to come out and say, because that's not the the, the official number, because the official right. number is a different number. Right. Oh yeah. So that's all the, because that could be a fraud kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, right. You know, somebody hacked into the computer and then put the, those numbers and then you know. It's I'm not. I'm not saying. To say the least, it's fishing. Yeah, I'm not saying that the, right. the person that won the lottery is is. You know the person on the wrong. What I'm saying that it opens up a precedent for uh, fraud, and they cannot have. They would rather go with a lawsuit and then come up, you know, do an agreement. Yeah, it's reach a settlement or something, yeah. probably. Yeah, exactly. Then, then not then have the uh, lottery uh, then, process exactly. Broken. And yeah. betting companies, right? So it's all about reputation. Yes. If this comes out quality. in that way, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like qual the quality of reputation. But you know, if it comes out, I don't know. Can they recover from that? Well, you would you would start losing. You'd start having your customer base losing faith in yes. the lo in the that's, lottery that, system. That's my point. Yeah, I got winning numbers, and now you're saying that they're not winning numbers. How can I guarantee that I'm I'm gonna? You see, my my whole company, fifteen thousand people, we all bet. On that place, you know, how much do you spend in there? It's an exaggeration. Yeah. But you guys got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah. They make so much money, they could break them off a little something oh, yeah. for a settlement. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they should. It's the right thing to do. Yes. I think they should. I think they should honor it. Personally, I think they should honor it. If they don't find out that it was a fraud kind of thing, yes. But I think it should it should have an investigation on it. Yeah. For sure. Because yeah. how you get wrong numbers on the website. You know what I mean? How did that happen? They yeah. should have an investigation on it. And they <clears throat> have to, you know, go all the way down to the you know, fine details on how that happened and why it happened. Do you know what I mean? Well, and to yeah. your point, there should be a, an outside company verifying that information before it is published. Quality control or quality assurance that the product or especially something this important, this information is given to the public is absolutely 100% correct before well, it's even Isn't it helpful. live? It rolls live and then shows on, on a TV or something? They, they do they, have, like, on the website, you can go to it. And it will show like the number for at least for the Powerball that I know that it'll do like one. Because now it, ball it gets. At a time. Can you find that on the yeah, internet? Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea. I've because for example, it. let's say they roll it, they roll completely different numbers. But when they put on the website, when they put on the website, and then it's, it's it's that guy's number. You're saying it's a national thing, and then just like a small piece of news in the countryside or whatever. There was this for three days, so is it, how do you consider the whole thing? If it is thing, on the website, you know, like, it should be national website, but... Minimal impact, but... So which lottery was it? Yeah. It's like a state lottery? Um, Power, Powerball, I think. It was Powerball. It was Powerball. Yeah. So it's... So in a county... Yeah, uh, but, but I believe it was in... So it was Powerball. in Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Powerball, but I believe it was for the... Like the District of Columbia Powerball. Let me put that on the screen. DC man, but the news are from, right? So where are the news from, right? <clears throat> um, Powerball, the multi-state lottery association. Oh, yeah, you, got, you got close. <laughs> All right. Now right. USA Today contacted them. We tend to collect every penny. Every new driver's license today. This is 
much further than wow. than the test. <laughs> he chose the ticket's numbers by using family birthdays. Yeah, wow. Wow, good for him. Yeah, so he now he's got the media on his side. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah. The live <clears throat> drawing of numbers occurred January 7th, 2023, but Cheek said he didn't rush to check his ticket due to him being exhausted as hell. I like this guy. From a meeting with his accountant that day, unbeknownst to Cheeks, the winning numbers on the website that day matched the ticket he'd bought. When he checked it the following morning, he saw he won. One in 292.2 million are your odds of winning. <clears throat> Couldn't believe his eyes, turned his laptop off, unplugged it, took it down, started it up again. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, huh? <laughs> Held off from redeeming the ticket that day so he could wait and meet with advisors beforehand, he said. So, yeah, I mean... You're so, already probably pledging money to these people. They're not going to do that for free. Exactly. So there's already investment. He's spending the money. Yeah. He's, he's well, like, okay, so let me talk to these before. people because yeah. sh should I just go and get the money and what bank account do I put that in? So and see, see right there. For the next three days, the DC lottery website. So I believe it's a regional because yes, even Texas yes. has their own yeah. Texas, Texas lottery. Yeah, Texas Powerball. So yeah. I think it's I, I think it's a DC lottery. I think you're just saying like the association is like multi state. He's trying to cover his ass, man. Probably because <laughs> he's already spending. Yeah. <laughs> but then they have an account a, accounting company check it. Yes. That's like they do at Academy Awards. They do that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And. and yeah. Look, the company has contingency. In it. I'm sure these companies have enough contingency for these cases. So does this mean that the live drawing numbers were different from what they posted on their website so, later? And I think that's what it's... Uh, well, at the claim center, one of the officials told Cheek to throw the ticket away in the trash can and that we're not going to pay for it. Said, so I think I'll just keep this. As I read up here... Um, yeah, the numbers on the website had changed and differed from the ones shown since January 7th after three days. They changed the numbers yes, online right. to match what was probably drawn live, I guess. So, Yeah, because it is a live. That's, it is you know, done That's live. why I talked about it, I said, because it is live. So you see the numbers yes. there. And then after that, you see that the numbers are different. Oh, we don't watch if TV. He didn't, if he didn't oh, look. look. He didn't, that's what he's saying. He didn't watch live because yeah. he was busy. So he didn't see it till the next day. He just saw the posted numbers, not the live drawing. Oh, okay. I see. Mm. Uh huh. And it was this top one that he wanted. <laughs> now I'm changing my mind about it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what? Did I read? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, I still have the same. I still have the same feeling because I don't. I never watch live drawings of anything. I could care less. If I want anything, I'll find it out the next day, or if, or they'll contact me. Well, like you said, the chances are um, basically one in 300 million. So you're not expecting to win. So yeah, if you have yeah. other stuff going on, you'll just look at it when you have a chance. Yeah, like, you're not stopping your life for it. So He sure is. To, when you're like me, that you only play once every 10, 15 years, and you then it. you watch it live. You know, like, I played, so I want to win, and then you watch. <laughs> but you know, it never ever happens. Yeah, yeah, I think I've spent $20 on the Texas lottery. I've never. And I've won like... Played. Two dollars or something, a couple of dollars. So you want something? Yeah, but I, mm -hmm. I lost more. So oh, it's yeah. a poor man's tax. Yeah, yeah, that's what I you know, always saying. <clears throat> every every Christmas, my mom and dad buy scratch off lottery tickets, and every year my wife always wins. Uh, she trade cards with me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. Yeah. And then you'll you find out that, well, I was going to win this yeah, year. She'll win. Yeah. And she wins again. Yeah. It's no, I know. Yeah. Yeah. The last couple of years, she's won. One year, she won 100 bucks. Ah. Yeah. So. How long is this Super Bowl, Powerball? Uh, how long do you do? You know how long it's, it's, been, it's been going through? Or? Um, I can find out. <laughs> Insane. Like when it's cool. when when it it yeah exactly. Close that one time when you got a chance. It's too much memory. 1988. 1988. Good yes. year. Started so, as Lotto America. Because <clears throat> it's kind of a taboo oh, for a long time, right? What is that like? 
a few places that don't didn't don't do it. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Some, some <clears throat> they don't allow gambling or something. Oh, um, well, Georgia. Yeah, but Nevada is one of them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you cannot gamble on lottery. In yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why it's competition? Not mafia, why it's bring not competition? Much, there's something else. Yeah, yeah it's not game mafia. Game. Not mafia rand. My point was to, to ask, like, <clears throat> it's been for a long time because I know that for a long time back back in Brazil, all of this are illegal. You know, like, so I think you can't back here. But I thought Texas, the mega center was. I thought the mega center was like a national Brazil thing. It is. It is, but there are many different types you know like a betting or a betting or this is this is more like a lottery right yeah yeah but, um but think about that um how much do you think this lotteries incite like you know lure people to spend more and there's a lot of i think there are diseases they're even giving names for someone who's how do like you call addicted? it addicted yeah addicted to gambling pain, yeah, yeah to gambling, gambling addiction or, gambling addictions yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So, yeah, there's like all hotlines that you can call now if you have, again, they have to put that in all the commercials, the same way if you buy cigars, it has to tell you, you know, Surgeon General says tobacco is bad. They say that in all the gambling and laundry commercials, it's like, if you have a gambling addiction, please call this number. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, My father has been probably playing those lotteries for 50 years. Yeah. You know, like every Saturday. Jeez. So... Never won? No, uh, just here and there. Yeah, but, nothing you know, major. We are talking about Never 50 major. years, like, so 2,500 weeks, is that right? So 50 weeks, yes, 50 years, yes, so that's it. <laughs> so, of course, he won. But, um, yeah. But probably lose more than you win, right? <clears throat> I don't the know. Grand scheme How much thing. has he had saved his money for 50 years? Right? In a... Three percent a year. <laughs> but where the hell is the fun? But you don't, you don't. I know. I know. Don't risk, that's a you don't risk of winning if you just save that money. Yeah, but now at his age, he would have. <laughs> you know, even he. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. But now you it's start like playing the lottery because if you win, you just pass it along to him. Oh no, no! I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been depositing <laughs> all the money. I don't play lotteries for sure. <laughs> yeah. Put it in savings. <laughs> yeah, I saw my father because you know it's always like that. Like, if it didn't work, or well, we, yeah. the next generation, we have to try did some some something different. So, yeah, so that's it. Um, do you think it incentive it causes any incentives for people who have gambling addiction? No, I'm sure. Yeah, so it's all no. <laughs> yeah, so if you have an addiction, you have an addiction. Legal drug. Yeah. It's a legal oh, drug. You have to be 18 years or older to do it. Yeah, like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you're just making my point? <laughs> no, if the drugs are illegal, it doesn't matter your age. But, yeah, you know, legalized yes. addiction. I don't know. It's like, like alcohol. Those vape companies, like the nicotine vapes, were getting in trouble for marketing flavorful pens because yes, they were, yeah. kids liked it and so yeah. they got a slap on the wrist six and million dollars can't. six million dollars they lost a lawsuit 16 60 million 600 million dollars. 600 million i was gonna say six yeah, seems like nothing million. yeah 600 yeah, million is a lot yes. but um mm -hmm. then they had to stop producing those flavors here they can't even make those flavors no. anymore they can use that money to pay that guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. two of yeah. those yeah, yeah. yeah. Some left over. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh I it's told you, it's slippery. It yeah. is slippery. We were really excited to get those in, and then uh, as soon as we went to actually use them, we're like, oh. And they're very slippery. It's more like art. Yes. <laughs> it looks cool, but practicality is. Maybe you can go to the walls, right? Over there. To the shelves, you know? <laughs> we Which made begs these the, ourselves. Yeah, right? Which we begs the question. Exactly. You see that? If you won that much money, $340 million, mm -hmm. what would you do with it? Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, we have ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start with Carol first. Carol, okay, yeah, what would you Carol, do? Carol's our, our, our yeah, I guess. I would invest it in real estate. Here That's in the United I mean. States or anywhere else? Just maybe some other countries too. Yeah. You know, get you some might need to diversify. Yeah. 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 Right on. Right on then. Yeah. But what else? Is, is that all? No, I'd buy. 
A nice boat to go fishing. A nice boat. And <laughs> Carol, Carol likes going fishing, so... Yeah, and then I'd probably buy some vintage cars or something. Mm. Like, I've always wanted one of those Amphi cars. They're worthless, but... <laughs> It's that car you can drive in the water. My dad yeah. had my dad had an Amphi car. Really? He did. There was he he loves telling the story. He was he bought that car. I think he was twenty something years old, up in like the Washington Seattle area, and he had a big big old Chow dog with him that looked like a bear. <clears throat> and they come rolling up, and it was a convertible. And you come rolling up, and and he stopped at the the boat launch, and. And there was some kid there, and my dad stopped, and he goes, hey, is this the boat ramp? The kid goes, yeah, but you can't go there. My dad's like, yeah, but, you know, this is the, the boat launch. This is boat ramp. You can get into the lake. And the kid goes, yeah, but you can't go here. And my dad goes, all right. And he just drives right into the water, and he looks back, and that kid's just screaming, sir, you're going to die. <laughs> and, it, and it takes off, and it just floated on, on into the lake. And he yeah. turned around, he just did like a quick it's little, cool. like 20, 30 minutes, and he brought it back. <laughs> okay, I right? would buy one car like that. Yeah. And I mean, there there is a, cool a car, car like that that used to, like, to scare people by driving them into the water. That was LBJ. LBJ, yeah. yeah, like yeah. Heard... And he would have dignitaries, and he would have them in the car and, on his ranch, and he'd, he'd go, oh no, the brakes are out. Take another car. <laughs> 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 That's such a fun thing. That's cool. He said they were a pain in the ass though because they're not 100 percent waterproof and they're no, just they're, not. they're just leaking all over the place. So he's like, like and a lot plus of them sank. A lot of them sank. <laughs> His never did, but he was like, and then the dog always liked to go swimming, so it was jumping out and then trying to jump back in, so his paint's all scratched up. So, <clears throat> uh, what color was it? You know, he I can't remember what color he said it he said it was. And I'm trying to remember the picture that he had of it. I I want to say it was like a light green. Oh, okay. But there but was yeah. one I used to see on 360 a lot. Uh huh. Some guy driving it. It was cool looking. I remember They're as a cool. kid, they used to have, I don't remember what city it was, but uh, they'd have those like ferry tour bus things that were like shaped like a duck, like little duck buses, and uh -huh. they'd take you onto the lake and, or pond things and drive around. They're cool. That'd be fun. Yeah. That's a more professional setup. Yeah, that's Top not the Gear same had an episode. Top Gear had an episode where they made amphibious cars, mm. and then uh, you know they're like you know figuring out like, two of them are like the 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 tall guy, the short guy, you know, Jeremy Clarkson and Richard Hammond, figuring out how to take their car in. One was a camper van, and the other one was just a pickup truck. So, and James May, he he just had like a vintage kind of car and like watch and learn and as they're fig figuring out how to get in he just drives it in and then he puts like a um uh, i don't know what's what's the name of it in english uh, uh how's it work the it's like a it's not a, a motorized boat it's uh with a not a flag with a Sail, sail, yeah, and, and put his uh, sail thing on and catch the wind. <laughs> yeah, to catch the wind and then go like he's sailing in his uh, oh, boat. Yeah, car. That's cool. And, and it's so funny because he just goes and then the other two are like, oh, he's crazy. <laughs> we don't even know if it's gonna work." And he just trusted it. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so funny. Man, That's awesome. You see, because of what he, her, her topic was so light. And I mean, it's so much nicer engaging in a conversation like that than I would I just point out her, her point is so more interesting than the ones I'm bringing. Yeah. Because then, like, you're working with our imaginary, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. That was cool. That was really cool. So, Carol, you would do investment and buy an Amphi car. I love that. <laughs> Carol, yeah, some I love toys that. like that. Yeah. 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 New boat. Yeah, new boat. Yeah. See? Yeah, I'd go. I'll partner uh, with you on a I cigar would lounge. Travel. We buy a cigar lounge, and I'll partner with you. And then... Yeah, I thought you know, <laughs> Lago Vista doesn't have one. Have cigar one. lounge? They don't have a really a cigar shop. They don't have. I have a cigar, cigar shop. Has a nice ring to it. Yeah. I would have a cigar uh, a cigar shop with a coffee shop 
in the back. Like, yeah. truly amazing. People would go there just for the coffee and for the cigar, you know? Like, yeah. And then probably interact the areas. I don't know. I would do Put the coffee like at the front and the cigar yes. in the back. That way you still get coffee customers if they don't smoke. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to walk through the smoke you see, to get to the coffee. This is, could be business in front, party in the back. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, well yeah. we're, we're skipping 101 of stores here. <laughs> I see. I see. So what, what about you, George? First of all, man, the first decision is like, do I take a lump sum and get half cut or I pick up per month? Do right. I so, tell you some numbers on that? Hmm? So three hundred and forty million dollars, if you paid forty eight percent tax, kept fifty two percent, that would be the equivalent of a hundred thousand dollars a week for thirty four years. Yes. You so I would that, yeah. I would go ahead and just take the lump sum. Uh, for you, I totally agree because I know you. I know I, I I know you would survive. You would make <clears> it happen. Out. But man, for most people, we read that eighty percent, eighty percent, eighty percent of people are poorer five years later they get the money poorer yeah, yeah they're poorer Broke. yeah completely yeah. poorer yeah, exactly. they were before they, they won, won before. before yes yeah. but so are you saying lump sum is going to make you have that spending decision or your your spending decisions are going to differ if it's lump sum or monthly yes yeah, so this is what i would this is what i'm asking i'm asking you uh-huh did you get access to all the money Right now, yeah, no, well, I'm just I'm not, I'm not the suggestion for the 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 wide wide world out there. So you, what you would do? Um, yes. So the most important <laughs> thing, I wouldn't tell absolutely anyone about it. Actually, I cr I just put it here. I would create this super trust of George, which would be only the idea. lawyer, only the lawyer. Super yes, <laughs> only lawyer. <laughs> My accountant and three friends that I really trust, and this would be the only. <laughs> <laughs> this would be, this would be the only people that would know. That's, that. that's and then I would create a you know a the smartest a, possible. Um, we, we're gonna stay here. I'm gonna pay you a million highs. Okay, I'm gonna pay you a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, for one night. All you have to do is that one night. No, until we leave here with three plans. We have three plans here, okay, 72 hours, I don't care. We don't sleep for this time. So that's the first thing I would do. Um, second thing, I would keep doing the same thing for a while. I wouldn't change what I'm doing for, for a while. And three, I would use it, uh, my, I would use it always auction. I would call many countries, look, I have $180 million here and I want a citizenship. I want to be able to buy a property here. I want to bring 180,000 to your country, 100 million to your country. So I would probably, I would give, of course, all the privilege to the United States for me to, to stay here, but I need <clears throat> benefits to stay here. So that's the, that's the other thing you probably would do. <laughs> that's good. I call bullshit on all of that. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see George in like a, like, like a Ferrari the next day afterwards, yeah. and we're like, yeah. Georgia, you, how come you're you not at the podcast? You know, you get uh, the next day, you get the Ferrari fans knowing about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But that uh, man, George, where are you? The podcast started. Like, oh, sorry, I'm I'm in, I'm in Dubai right now. Sorry, guys. Like, oh, he didn't join in with his Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while he's driving the Ferrari, I'm logging in. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I would do that in I don't know, man, in Togo, in you know, one of these islands when. Everything is already protected. I, not before this. I go. I agree. I could. I, I could go that route, but not before this. this, this so thing. smart George would go this route. Dumb George would do my route. Yeah. Just like yeah. I pull up in Ferraris and be like, exactly. Hey guys, yeah. Because Tamir is my wife. She would do the crazy things. You know. I know. I know she would do the crazy things. Of course. So I need to protect. Because she <laughs> helps me to live. You know. But and she's gonna convince you. Well, well, hold on, you got that money over there. After the plan. Yeah. <laughs> After the plan. Got Probably. Plenty. Huh? You got plenty of money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how? You can think about that next month. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, if I if I convince her, look, this is the plan. You're part of the plan. You're the most important person of this plan. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> this is what I would do. I know it's a killer. I told you it was a killer compared I, to her car and uh, everything we discussed here about, you know, the car. Yeah. I'd like to see what Corner has to say. Yes. Uh huh. I would. It's <clears throat> a great question because it's a lot of money. But I would do a similar situation. I would. I would do a lump sum. I would do a lump sum. There's no. Uh, I, for 34 years, someone's going to kill me. Cancer. Family members hate me. I don't know. Something's going to happen. I'm not going to see all of that money at one time. I want it all. I want it all right, right now. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I would I would do investments. I would do investments, long-term investments, either real estate, businesses. I like real estate more than businesses yeah. uh, for long-term real investments. Things. Huh? Real thing. A real thing. Tangible. Tangible, Tangible thing. But mm-hmm. enough to set up generational wealth. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, it's one of those things like the kids won't get, the kids and the grandkids will get assistance, but they have to make their own way in life. Uh, my, I mean, that's my perspective of it, but, you know, and then just enjoy and just kind of relax. Lump sum. Um, lump sum. And for easy math, let's just say 50% tax, that's like 170 million. I'd probably take half of it immediately and just start doing investments. Um, long-term investments, hold, real estate, whatever. But I would probably develop like $15 million. I'd develop some land and make like a commune for my family and have a bunch of nice houses. I'd have like a bowling alley, a movie theater, a shooting range, dirt, a go-kart track, dirt bike, just a park. Yeah, but like a huge <laughs> one. Like we're talking like Six Flags, you know? Yeah. Huh? But it, whatever, you know, around $15 million will get me. So I don't want to go too crazy on that. Right. Probably buy a GT3 RS. Um, and just have fun a little bit. With that much money, I wouldn't really think about it too much. But I wouldn't spend too much because half of it immediately is going into investments. And the other half I'd put into like some sort of trust that gives it to me. It disperses it to myself, you know. Mm-hmm. But no penalty if I take it out necessarily. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can be in control of my own money. But mm-hmm. I would just do stuff like that for the family. And my fiance is like an extreme minimalist. So mm-hmm. she would kind of be like disgusted with the fact that we have that much money, honestly. She says that, but then... You know, when you get that amount of money, that might change a little bit. So, yeah. but that's it. It's pretty simple. Yeah, that would last you for a really long time. Blow it all. I don't know. My kids are gonna have to work and whatever. I'm gonna spend all the money. By the time I am dead, just spend it all. Donate it to like, uh, I don't know, something. Like St. Uh, Jude's or something. You're gonna Saint have Jude's an institution. Here. Well, at that time, you could probably donate like, or some. To some oil companies because I do a lot of philanthropy. It might for be sure. everything electrical at that time. I would donate to like St. Jude, I'd donate to like animal stuff. You can have an NGO. I do all kinds of philanthropy huh? stuff, but you know, I would have fun too. He yeah. likes his GMOs, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd probably make a farm all organic, yeah. grow my own food, yeah. hydroponic awesome. greenhouses. That's yeah, yeah. I'll Completely, be, I'll be investing together, okay? Off I'm the telling grid. you, off the grid. <laughs> Rainwater yeah. collection See, system, solar, everything. After you have this, you see, it's it's what? quick plan. What? Like it? That's, this, that's, this is how much I'm gonna make next is, next month, it's, and next month, it's like, and next month for the rest of my life. We came you up see, with that what? in two hours. I don't know. No, I don't know. I've never had so a million a dollars. Give me seventy-two hours. I would structure a plan in two. We have yeah. seventy to play, but exactly, <laughs> I need seventy-two. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want I, I want people to go crazy in this seventy two hours. You know, create all this. I want like okay, they will get there. Look, fly here. Here is your flight, in a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> they get there. Okay, so if you want to be there, it's all, it's one time offer. Come here. Here is the ticket. Here is the hundred thousand dollars. They will get there. There will be monitors everywhere, <laughs> or or, or I will get the a Vision Pro for each. Yeah. Right right in the, the entrance. And then I would say, hey, I want projections. I want crazy things. I wanted, I mm-hmm. wanted to know everything. I wanted to know dictatorships. You know, I, want, I wanted to know if someone is going to freeze my money. After 72 hours, I would say, I mean, it's time to celebrate now. And then I would celebrate. Try yeah. to develop an AI that could finally read a record. Oh no, that's impossible. Uh, yeah, that's the only you thing that all money, your money doesn't buy. No, <laughs> you go straight to Vegas and put 170 million on red. I'd money like an buy. island. 
Kitty Pie Island. Island. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, there are there are some islands out there that you can buy. I'm not sure. I don't know the prices, but Jeffrey in Brazil, Anderson. in Brazil there are islands that are like 150,000. <laughs> really? Yeah, not million. Really? Yeah. Is it serious? Yeah, it's just joking. Because it's Brazil. I know. I know. Probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would probably buy land enough so I could make my <laughs> only islands for you guys. You know, like I could make my islands. Bring in the and water. Then you're like, the oh, yeah, you could build islands for your families. How about that? Cool. I would, I would build the islands for you, and then of course you guys would have to share the cost of uh, building that. But the island I don't yours. know if I would take a lump sum or <laughs> uh, a monthly, uh, yearly actually, because it's yearly. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It is. So, um, I think yearly would be easier, right? Because you don't really put a lot of money in your hands and you go like, yeah, I have to think about spending this because I, I cannot spend all of these right now because I have it has to last me to next year. Just a question, just a, how much would that be per year? What? How much would that be per year? So just, just because it's, I don't know, it's going to be enough. Right? That's for 30 years, right? <laughs> 10 years. For 30 30 years. Years. 20 years. Is that, is that 20? Uh, 30. 30. 30. At 360. Two. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, a lot of money. Uh, that's what I'm saying. 5.89 million. That's what I'm saying, okay? I didn't want to interrupt, but just to, to put Five, it perspective. Almost 6 million a year. Oh, every year, then, you know, like, you know, for the next. Yes, yeah. So, right. but then it's less money in your hands, right? So yes. then you go like, well, you have to, of course, you're going to buy some real estate. You know, I'll probably buy a steak on a, on a cigar, you know, factory. I don't know, in, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, there That's you go. One. Could be in our island. Yeah, the one I created in, for you guys. In the island, okay, <laughs> it could be. And uh, I would buy a steak on a vineyard. Oh as yeah, because well, I like wine as well. So I would I would buy steaks on things that I kind of enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, real estate. Um, and I would go to every Formula One race in the calendar. Wow, really? I, would I would just travel. I would travel. You know, because a lot of money. Fish yeah, it's a lot he of would money. have a podcast. Would there ever he would have a podcast. And I would have a podcast <laughs> about it. Do you, you, ever, th do you ever think, Carol, that there would ever be a situation where you visited a country and you were like, you know what, I'm done. I think I'm good here. Oh, and just stay there. And just stay there. Yeah. Yeah. That could happen, yeah. yeah. Do you understand why? Number three, auction about citizenship. But I don't care about auctioning. Auction. Like, I want to, <laughs> I, I want to, I just want to, like, disappear into the crowd. Like, I don't want to, because yeah. governments change, regimes change. Mm -hmm. One one minute you're a socialist country, next minute you're whatever. You have complete control, and you start telling, like, leaders, government yeah. leaders, like, hey, I have this much money. Then they're keeping tabs of you of like what are you gonna do? Yes. You can't yes. be you can't be private. And obviously, still entering a country, they're gonna find out your finances no matter what. Well, so telling them preemptively is it's not gonna change anything. Even this guy suing, it's like he's just blown up his spot now. He okay. does win. It's like there's no chance of keeping that a secret now. Right. Because right. I wouldn't want to be on the news if I want to be honest. I would tell exactly my close like <laughs> tight circle, you know. But yeah, I and, and it's gonna get out to family and certain people. I don't want a news article about. it. I don't think he would think about it. He's he's doing it because of well, he feels wrong the issue. Yeah, right. It's just an unfortunate situation because I think everybody feels that way. I want to win the lottery and tell no one. And that's not an option. Besides anymore. that, he might have tried something before and it didn't work. So now he's just looking for some publicity, right? If I had to guess, he'll. You like you just reach a settlement or something that was good. That was i don't really know good. is this unprecedented is something that's probably never happened before are there not cases similar of like either. promised money right so how would that go in court or what cases will they use as precedent to set a case of why he's owed the money and then what cases <clears> were they <throat> it'll get really interesting it's, it's a new case. and they get drawn out for so long so it's gonna be very enticing like hey man we'll reach a settlement of five million He's going to laugh at that, but that's $5 million. That's a lot of money. Well, so, I mean, did anyone ever watch that uh, Netflix show, uh, 
Pepsi, Pepsi where's my jet? jet? Ten minutes watching the ice turn the ball. It's the exact same. It's a so it's, that could be the precedent. Then you know the. It'd be interesting to look into those cases. Yeah, yeah. And then there's, what's his Abraham Shakespeare? He's the guy that won thirty million. And then he got, he got killed. Woo! He, by someone that was that wanted to be his assistant. But he had all these people coming after him for money. Well, and see, and that's my point. As soon as you shout out to the world, I have this much money, it all it takes is one corrupt politician, one corrupt dictator, one corrupt person yeah, to be like, Yeah, that's hey. what I'm saying, yeah. But I'm that's but, part of the plan. Yeah, that's, but yeah. That's, that's part the, of the plan, right? But that's the thing is like, you want to be just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to slip into the unknown. I'm a stakeholder in this in this vineyard company, and that's. Well, what I is the problem for that? from everything we are talking? Well, what is this this thing about anon anonymity? This is paid, you know. Like by the time you win, all the banks know, everybody knows, everyone knows, everyone knows. But so I have you, one thing to you, say. You're about gonna it. change your your bank account, change your you telephone, change number. your name. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you burn, burn your fingerprints. But, but off. hold on. We have Burn people it. in the world <laughs> that are still going out and about, and, and, and everybody knows how much money they have, you know? What about the Jeff Bezos, you know, uh, they Alan, have, like, Alan Gates. Musk, Bill yeah. Gates? They have Security, about they this them. amount of money, right? Yeah. And uh, they are not changing their names. They are not going... But, they have you know, billions. I see your private. point. But it's the people in their life. Like, if we switched up that quick, there's pro I'd probably know enough, like, crazy redneck people that'd be willing to kill me for it versus Jeff Bezos, you know? No, no, yes, but then it, I think the what we can assume then is, like, you at least have to move. Well, it's not like we're keeping it in cash in the vault at the house, so it's like, just because you kill me, are you getting my money, too? So it's, that's why you put it in a trust and you do certain things, so... Yeah, you're right. It's probably it's something that... The mindset is the most important thing right now. You know, like, whatever you do now is going to be the worst. Whatever you do is going to be the worst uh, decision you're going to take from that moment on. Because you're going to be learning more and more and more and more. And then you learn. You you know, you make less mistakes. But that decision, right, is going to have, is going to have repercussions. And then you, you five years ahead, oh, if I had done that, of course, because I have five years of experience. You know, yeah. hindsight, it's, it's hindsight. But that's why, easy, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you take on a yearly basis, it's easier because first you get used to it. You start to like, you don't burn it all on things that you think it's really good to be doing so because you gain that experience as it goes. How old would you be in the last year? On the, the last years, I'll be 77. 77. 77. So, 30 years from now. So, people Hell will be living no. 100. People 77 living. years old, I'll be in a wheelchair. No, and I want no. all of that money. I want all of that money up front. No, it's going to be a hell of a... I'm just from the camp of yeah, but the lump sum amount is already so much money. Like, do That's already way more. You could make do with $20 million. No, no, yeah. $70 million. I've, I've done Please. a calculation. We've done a calculation once, and then it's a $7 million You can, you know, live to the rest of your life and not needing to do anything. Just living out of it on a monthly basis, yes. right? Without changing your lifestyle. But that's what I'm saying. You can, on, on a yearly basis, on lump sum, you got to be very, very careful on like, okay, I'm putting this money away, Credits. but Credits. I'm only using 3% at a time, Yeah, you know, to learn how to deal with this. Because it's, it's, a lot, it's the same as like you just, you buy a Ferrari, you go inside of that car, you don't know how to drive it. Well, but so it's like self-control. Yeah. But I would just lease a car. Mindset. But from a finan from a financial standpoint, lump sum makes more <laughs> sense because as soon as you have something, the appreciation value of it is going to go up. You buy a piece piece of property for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars today, next five years that's a two hundred thousand dollar. So yeah. lump sum, the appreciation value of getting into something now as opposed to later on in smaller increments is. But that's what I'm saying. So that's that goes again. So equity. that's my you explanation. Equity, you mean, right? right? I mean, I I I don't know if I mean, I could also get the lump sum and then 
sit down and think about it. So like real right. estate is a really good thing, right? So you buy a lot of real estate. But again, if you buy all in the same country, it, it could be a bad thing. You know what I mean? It, right. it, because you have to diversify. Uh, even though it's still real estate, but you can, you know, <laughs> you can you can buy real estate over here, buy real estate, you know, in different countries. Like pick like 15 countries, you know, and buy over there as well. Right? But if you do everything that you do with the first draw, $5 million, you may not do a lot with it because... Of course, you're going to pay off your house or, or you're going to sell the house and move to a better neighborhood or something like that, right? You're going to spend some of this money and you're only going to be investing, you know, half of the first stake that you get. The second year, and then you go like, I don't have where to spend this money anymore, but I have where to invest because, you know, what I've been doing investment wise, uh, yeah. it's actually working, you know, so you, you just like put some money on, money on that. You're learning. And then... And then you go that way. The things that you also buy, right, uh, at the, the beginning, even though it's less money, that also is going to be appreciating if it's property or whatever. You know, it could be a business that, you know, is going well or something like that. Right, but you've already lost a year or two years or three yes, years. Yes, yes. But the money that you have in there, it's it, it, it it's not like that money that's going to be receiving, it's not, it's not going to be corrected. I mean, it might not catch up to inflation, but it will get... Uh, um, Interest, on interest that. rate, right? Yeah. yeah. So that money also keeps on growing, so we get a little bit more next year, and then more the following year. But and then and then knowing that you will get that money because there is leverage, you can use leverage. You You'll say, "I have twenty-five years, five million a year. So can I buy now four hundred million dollars?" And then they say, "Yeah, yeah." You know what I mean? And then you leverage, and then now you double your fortune. Well, but you've learned how to do it by going slowly so, right so that's what i'm i'm saying if you have that Pro much money to you're like a very low risk when you're borrowing money you just i'd still probably continue to borrow money but, but you that's, get very low interest rates that's on exactly what i money. just said yeah. which is like you Don't can leverage. leverage yeah you can leverage um, i have put a business plan together, yeah. yeah well and that's how most celebrities like elon musk is that the valuation of people's wealth is based off of that yes their valuation for yes. everything equals that amount. So yes. if they go into a bank and be like, I'm worth $2 billion, yes. even though you don't have $2 billion in the bank, banks are still like, oh, yeah, we can give you the money because right. the, you know, what, what can you realize, yeah. 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 what can you use? I mean, you use, I want to say, well, um, the collateral is, you know, $280 million. Okay. Yeah, you'll take I the want to ask Carl, yeah, Carol, something. Okay. Carol, look, I, we can speculate so many things here, right? Yeah. But my point is, you. do you believe that, um, don't you think that one of the main points is how much I want to get involved in dealing with the money, in dealing with this, in dealing with, how much do I want to work? I watch all, you see, because if I, if I get into real estate, believe me, it's going to be the lawyers all over. It's going to be real estate agents is all over, right? So how much do I want to really get involved with that? Oh, I want to, I want to be involved 12 hours a day working. No, you know what? I want to four Let's hours. I want, I want so only four hours and I want someone, you know, like 24 hours doing whatever I need all the time, you, you know, like. I think that is a very important discussion because based on that, you make this decision, oh, I'm going to invest this, this in crypto. And then you get crazy because you want to do something or you're going to have like a team, oh, a legal, uh, all, you know, a legal office, a firm. So what do I want? Well, I would buy moment? a, really, you're supposed to have seven streams of income. Okay. And so what I would do My is buy... Fine. I would buy a property management company. Okay. Because they already know what they're doing. Right. A very their specialty. A yeah. very trust one. A very, yeah. You see, we would go very conservative. Yeah, you're a trustworthy a company that's yes. doing well. There's a good, that's, that's you a good just idea. buy them out. And right. <laughs> and you'd be doing what? Let's see what uh, Pelosi You'd be, and you'd then, be enjoying. Yeah, and then I'd be Just enjoying it. it. <laughs> yeah. And then they would be managing and daily conversations yeah and then 10 minutes you're going to be reading re reports you know what i mean yeah and having meetings that kind of thing 
No. Right? But I would I would keep still keep my bad. finger on the pulse because <laughs> yes. it's really easy for mm-hmm. somebody to mm-hmm. yes. take your money. I'm but that's fine. I understand property management already, so it's not like I would be buying something I don't understand. Yeah. Right. Right. So. But you see how conservative we go? Because, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's my money. Yeah, yeah. Now you're <laughs> both very, oh, no, because I was investing. In no, 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 no. It's, no, it's a lot of money. And I mean, you could you could put money. a little bit of money in crypto. Why not? Do no, I mean? you can. You can. I'm just saying get involved. You yeah. know? So, what do you think? But crypto... Who was it? It was uh, Warren Buffett said crypto. Yeah. If he's not going to invest in it, then I don't want to invest in it. Yeah, you're a classic. You are a classic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, some somebody might do that um, with the money, like um, creating a uh, category of sports where you just opt to compete. Oh. You don't say. I don't invest in that. You know what I mean? And that's a transition because look at the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll briefly discuss about that. But yeah, um, if you were to invest all of your winnings in Powerball money, that would be an interesting thing to, to kind of go into. And it's actually, what, two two people, multi-billionaires that are, that are trying to set that up? Yes. That are bringing it up in their own money as, as prize prize money yes Dylan will pull that out for us I'm just really I'm really interested (laughs) about do you think records and and how much or how many records world records Olympic records do you think will be shattered if it is like use as much and whatever steroids you want some sports will make a lot of difference sports where Ability, skill, um, I think even those drugs, there will be different types of drugs. Probably you, you cons- they are be consuming these drugs for exactly this type of abilities. So mm-hmm. I think every single ability could be enhanced. It's just like a Superman. Yeah. Is, that, is, is it going to be respected? Um, I heard Hilton made a good point about... Um, you know, like Formula One and the rules, and it's like you take it so far, you just put the drivers at risk, you know? So it's like there's a reason there's these rules because it's for their own fun, people will die, potentially. Yes. So mm-hmm. it's supposed to be the enhanced games, but we're, will there still have to be some sort of regulations on the types of drugs that they're allowed to use? Or I don't know, I haven't read into all of that, but there's some morality to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there is. Because, I mean, I think um, sports where speed, right? We know the drugs. I mean, these days, uh, it, it gives you speed. Like, you, know, you run faster, you can swim faster. Things power. like Yeah. So, speed and power, right? <clears throat> but all the things like, uh, yeah, like engine, right? Yeah. But all the things like, uh, like aiming, right? Shooting. It, like, I Motor saw the other day, like, uh, uh, shooting from the three points. Of this lady, you know, this basketball player, and then she missed what? One out of the, you know, they go around and then shoot. The NBA three shooting point competition. Yeah. Yeah. And then she missed one. So, okay, so the guy that's just up is gonna miss what? None? That's not much different. You know what I mean? But, you know, you running on a 100 meters yeah. in 9.7 yes. seconds, and then, Same you know, somebody coming and then running at um, 8.9 seconds. That's a lot, right? So that's what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, things like aiming and uh, like shooting, like those um, shooting, you know, games, sports, darts. Uh, yeah, people are already so good at that. Even though yeah. their natural not. ability, steroids aren't going to enhance or well, make it that or, much of a difference. Or uh, they would have to create like, okay, so if you hit, uh, let's say you hit a dart and then hit another one on it, mm-hmm. and then you stuck two darts on it, and then it might be so it have like focus kind of. Kind of a drug, and a focus drug. So yeah. many, so many are for fo- for focus, right? <laughs> Already, just just legal. Uh, I but wonder for if different it, reasons. I wonder if it would cause this of you're going to have records of natural ability and then yeah. records of juiced up, drugged. Oh yeah, of abilities. course, yeah, because yeah. It, it wouldn't be part of the same. <laughs> You know, but you know, th- this is already happening in in running athlete, uh, athleticism, right? So in marathons, like 
there are this this shoe this type of shoes now that you can almost jump with the shoes so if you run with that kind of shoes it's not considered the world record because the world record was beat was beaten many times with those runners yeah with those shoes you know i think it's going to be pretty much the same you know okay you get a ranking for the ones who all only run too. with that shoe, that piece of shoes, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on that on makes sense. Yeah, on auto sport, on cars, <clears throat> right? Uh, racing, you always have like um, uh, the um, A class, the B class, uh, and the stock class, and they always all, uh, have a free class. The free class is you can use anything you want in a car. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Tur it, turbo. It, yeah, it, it's not on Formula <laughs> One. So those cars are much faster, right? Yeah, so yeah. It, it's like, you know, just, you know, just, you need to have four wheels on the ground. And that's it. You know? Yeah. And then they go and put a lot of power in the engines and whatnot, try to make the chassis that, you know, you're going to be able to, you know, make the corners and whatnot. So uh, already exist things like that on, on car racing, right? Um, of course, in, in, you know, Formula One, which the cars are already too fast, or Indy cars, NASCAR, yeah. uh, they have re regulations and they, they limit uh, a little bit. Uh, because it's already, you know, if you compare to this other free class, right? You know, there's like yeah. amateur, amateur free class. So there's only so much money they can put on a, on a team, right? right? Um, but yeah, I mean, and in sports, um, I don't think they would be part of the, for example, the Olympic Games. Right, uh, but people will, would watch, and then they would have sponsorships, and because the, if there's people watching, and that is marketing to be made. Yeah. So I think you know people would watch, and I, I would watch. I want to see you know the limit of the body. Uh, I wouldn't like to see somebody swimming so fast that you know after they beat the world record they die. Heart I, I, You know I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. want to watch that. Right. You know, but if they turn the the screen off just before that happens. I'll be fine <laughs> watching the first bit of it. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure they all kind of know the implications going into yeah. it. So it's like it's at their own risk. People just have that competitive drive to push those limits. And yeah, I think it'd be very interesting to watch. It'd be crazy to see something bad happen, but we used yeah. to have people killing each other in the Coliseum. So, yeah, yes. that's true. Yeah. Brad and Circus. How I'd, lo I'd love to see like a drug games where people are just like high on mushrooms, cocaine, PCP. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> just complete chaos. They're supposed to be doing hurdles and they're like they're breaking the hurdles in half. They're running through it. They're on meth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, Walking under the hurdles. Yeah. They're they're just running. But they're, they're crawling. They're like a bear <laughs> crawl. They're yeah. running. 20 miles an hour. No, the first one I have to crawl. The second one I have to jump. Yeah. <laughs> They're, They're like, crazy. that's not they the mean. rules. They're like, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The rules. <laughs> chewing on things. And then they go so fast. I mean, the ones that have Chaos. more juiced up, they go so fast in the end, they sit down, play, you know, cards. Yeah. Until the last, you know, competitors still arriving yeah. right, from the race. So, you know, there's this that TV show, right, right, called uh, uh, Drunk History. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they Amazing drink. Show. Yeah, yeah. We are... We are watching very slowly because you're in the last season okay and we love that separate. right it's yeah, so not very slow if you're on the last season no but it, it's been more than a year oh okay. it's like okay. every three weeks now you know? ah, okay. okay and basically they study about a topic and then they drink okay. until they get crazy and then they tell the story drunk <laughs> i would like to see one stoned yeah <laughs> you know like instead of Drunk history, stone history. Yeah, you know, well, one of, uh, <laughs> it would be, that would be fun in the states it, where it's legal. That's that, right. It's legal. We yeah. always have to say that. Yeah, where it's legal. I think there's a show on the History Channel with Action Bronson watching like ancient civilizations, but it's just him and all the people that seem just super stoned. Oh my and god! Just talking about it. And it's funny. I like the ancient civilization show. I like those shows too. Aliens. Yeah, they do. I like so well, just one more thing I, I watched this YouTube video about this Tesla tank you know you know a Tesla car it's a gigantic one you know Cybertruck Cybertruck yeah 
So these guys are like driving through the whole United States, you yeah. know, and then they are testing everything. And then the last take was kind of interesting. They made a point about it goes from zero to 60 miles an hour so fast that it's dangerous that they made a point that there should be a special license to drive that, that kind of a car because people can drive anywhere and you sit in there so you move so fast that you can kill anyone in two seconds in one second yeah, but what is the difference between uh you know that car which is really fast and a car that's been around for a long time which is like for example a porsche 911 turbo that can do can do sort of similar speed right the size the weight is so heavy it moves but so the fast impact, it would kill anyways you know nevertheless and it's like okay so one takes 2.9 seconds the other one that i just said is 3.2 but they, 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 point they 0.3 of a second it's not even a blink they of an measure eye. they measure the truck this truck against the wall against other cars against other trucks and it's ridiculous you survive you survive you On know the inside the, of the vehicle. yes the, the other cars you kill other people that's why they are saying um if we are ready for this kind of car right now well at least it protects one side right yeah because it killed the car <laughs> 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 I'm serious. <laughs> I, he's not even making a joke. I, I agree. Yeah, I'm serious. You know, I mean, like it is funny though. Yeah, I, 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 you're I, not I, coming for me. Yeah, but it, it's like you know. <laughs> let's say if if you, if you crash, let's say using this same example with the Porsche 911 Turbo S, right? It's a 3.2, you know, not to 60, and uh, and you know the Cybertruck or whatever car uh, that is, you know, this Tesla that does, let's say three or 2.9. I don't know what the Cybertruck does, but I know the Model S Plaid's 1.9. Yeah, yeah. 2.9. 2.9? 2. 2. 9. From 0 to, to 600 the miles. The Cybertruck is a second hour. slower than the Plaid Model exactly. S. Exactly. Yeah. But it is heavier, so I get uh, what you're saying. It's a semi-truck. 6,000 pounds. <laughs> but, okay, let's compare the, the, the Model S then to a Porsche. Yeah, it's a second faster. But it's a second. In, in, in a split of a second. I mean, that is a saying, in a split of a second. That happened. So it's just a split, you know what I mean? And it would happen the same way. So, you know, if the car is really protected, it, it does protect one side. Uh, and, you know, at 60 miles an hour, if a Porsche hits another car, you know, people inside of the Porsche could still survive, probably. The other car might not, but that's what I'm saying. It, it already exists. Yeah, I mean, is the comparison that it's trying to draw like it could be used for like some type of terrorist attack or? You could do that with an eighteen wheeler. Well, and I mean, but that's my point is that you don't need you, a lot of speed. But you need a special need license weight. to draw. That's it. Is the weight, the the weight okay, right. and speed ramming into something can cause a massive amount of damage. Is that what it's trying to equate to, or is just that? <laughs> yeah, he just it's so sure. big I, I that thought... it could. I thought it was me. worth telling you this because just to just, just to describe just to discuss this, you know, because it's a gigantic car, you know. Like I don't think it makes a difference in what we already have for years. I don't think it makes any difference on a GT, a Ford GT. You know, it doesn't make any difference. We already have that for a long time, and it, it shouldn't have a. I mean, if you buy a Ford GT, you know, Ford might go like, okay, so to buy this car. We will get you into a course to learn how to drive this car. Right. Yeah, like a, 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 a friend of mine got a, a C8, a, a, a Corvette C8, right? Really fast. And he's going to go and do the, the, the course on driving, you know, um, because it is, you know, a more powerful car than he's used to. So, you know, yeah, I mean, Tesla could put a program like that. Uh, I don't think they, I mean, actually, it would be actually a very good idea you know, for them to do that. To teach you know the the customers how to drive you know? uh, i don't think is the car itself but is the mentality i don't i don't think pe the same people who buy this buy the sports cars i think they're different people and when i am inside a fast car i don't think i'm i don't think about safety i think about speed this one here i think i'm invincible that's 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 the mentality. Okay, so it's, I, I agree with you. I get I, I get that, but the same way, I mean, if you if you treat people like dumb, 
right? Uh, it's not dumb. Well, it's, it makes you. Well, that's like it's gun not dumb. Control though, like yeah. you can't have guns because people will use them in a bad way. It's like it's the person that's doing it in the truck. But it could be like there's a learning curve. People go through that when they come into money, like you're saying, they buy an expensive car like a Porsche or something, and they wreck them because they don't know how to drive them. Drivability on that car is much easier than you would imagine. Oh yeah, the traction yeah. and the weight, how heavy it is, how fast it goes. I mean, it's got grip. Mm -hmm. And Tesla has a lot of safety features in their vehicles yes. that mm -hmm. I don't, I wouldn't imagine there's a lot of people just getting overwhelmed with the speed and wrecking it immediately mm -hmm. just because there's so much grip in that thing. Well, and to that point, I, I want to assume, and I'm just going to throw it out there, I could be completely mm -hmm. bullshit, but Tesla does have safety features where it detects if you do get into some type of crash, it's not going to, it's, it's kind of like a kill switch. Like you're not going to keep going but it will, it will Prevent disable. You from yeah, there's. And, I think there are some. I think it depends features. on you know how much you pay because you know it's all yeah. like um, software upgrades and whatnot that people choose not to do. Autopilot. And such. Yeah. Right. But at the same time, I mean, there are like for example, sometimes a car is slows down in front of me, my car goes beep beep beep, and then and I don't have all the automatic thing. It beeps so that I can you know brake. And I, I'm looking at it, and I know that I don't need to brake, and most yeah. of the time I don't do anything because I know. It's going to be enough time. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at this, 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 this screen. But you oh, know, not the screen, the, the road. You're a, the, you know, like you, yeah, you've driven one million cars. You know, so one when you million, but I, I, when you yeah. say yeah, when you, when you say that, of course, you have like well, all the dexterity, <laughs> the, 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 the dexterity for that. The one that goes two point nine, like how much does it cost too? Because I know that a hundred thousand, a hundred, yeah, hundred thousand dollars. So that's not the average person buying that anyway. No, no. Because right. the entry level base model one goes zero to sixty and four flat. Yes. Still very fast. Yes. But not that, you know, two point nine. So it's it's a different level of people that are buying yes. that kind of truck in the yes. first place. So you would assume they probably have a little bit more experience. You but know? Yeah, regardless the car, I think if it's that dangerous, everyone should have a special I, I don't classify that as dangerous, George. I don't I classify do, I do. that as a dangerous. I know? see. It's a potential danger. No, I don't classify it as that. Because you um, could buy. I just I mean, classify the same as any other car that you, you know is a sports car. You could literally take yeah. your Ford you truck can, out there yeah. and write and yes. you know put bumpers and steel things oh, and okay. upgrade the don't motor. You, don't you have to register and make sure you tell? No, the the no. diesel truck we have right now. You go get a a steel or cast iron just ranch hand on the uh -huh. front. When you get into an accident on one of those, it's probably a ninety percent chance the other head on the other person's dead. Yes. You don't need a special license for that. You also yeah. don't really even need to be going more than That's 60 saying, miles an hour. I don't think it's dangerous. Just think it's a car. Let yeah. it be. There's dangerous implications, but I don't think it requires a special license necessarily. But it's an interesting point. Yeah. Yeah. Just like drivers. You see, here is loser. But for me to drive a tiny truck back in Brazil, yeah, I'll have to go <coughs> through a lot of tests. It's expensive. You know, it's super expensive. Uh, here, man, you just rent those trucks. I've never driven a truck. Yeah, like a U-Haul The U -Haul first time yeah, yeah. I have to do the U-Haul. Up to certain <laughs> size, <laughs> yeah, you can drive with a normal I, We picked a big one. It was a truck. You know, it was, didn't, had well, never driven that thing. You know, I'm going to try, you know, but. <laughs> asking we'll you because you've lived there. Would you say, like, driving school in the UK is probably a little bit more rigorous than here in the States? Uh, yes, it is. Because yeah, I would argue bus, it's very easy to get a driver's license. To here. pass a test, oh, yeah, it is yeah. very easy. There's pass... people that don't even that drive on the road that don't have. Hundred percent. Well, I renew my license today, and they and they even test me. Well, to, <laughs> yeah, to pass mentally test. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. They, they didn't mentally test me, and I passed. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think the car is dangerous. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't want to foment on that. You know what I mean? I don't I don't like that idea. It's just because. Um, Which idea you don't the, want to You know, the car being dangerous. I don't think the car is dangerous at all. I think it's, you know, if the person buying it, you know, they could buy, they could choose to buy that car, but they could choose to buy any other car that, you know, would do the same, like a, a, a Hummer. You know what I mean? That's like, okay, I feel safe at this Hummer here. Uh, yeah, it, it's not going to be as fast, but, you know, you can gain speed. You know what I mean? Once um, you're up to speed and yeah. you get into an accident. But, I think it's With like the argument energy. of like the zero to 60 happening so fast that maybe there's more of a likelihood to crash. But I, I just, and I don't know, I haven't driven one. Because the, the, you, 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 you know, like every time you actually did that fast. Huh? I think, yeah, yeah, they're planted. You're not going to like lose. But the he rear. tried it. He tried that many. 
they gotta right. watch this like 20 minute video just, and then they were just saying like it's so powerful to drive that he, he said like it, this is dangerous because the power he he's, never felt he, and these guys are he's saying he's only, that to he's get only, views he's saying that to get views because um i i'm again I wouldn't disagree it's dangerous yes yeah. i just don't think he's a special person any car would be dangerous uh, yeah. uh, you know i i don't think it's there i think the guy wants views and i, I appreciate that because we also views as well yeah. so <laughs> like, like yes. subscribe <laughs> comment share with your friends yeah so then I mean it's like I I don't like um, thinking that way. It's the same as you know the gun control kind of thing. You know and I mean it's like I don't know I don't know. No, I, it's I, fine. I, I know I'm being a little bit uh, on the on the opposite side in here, but uh, I think it creates an interesting conversation though. Yeah, and I'd like context of the video to see why he's saying what he's saying. Not that I would agree or disagree. Maybe he's with not him. a good driver. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hilton PK. <laughs> Depends on what's being a good driver, right? Yeah. <laughs> like for my my wife, she learned how to drive here. It took her like two meetings of nine minutes. She never touched the car. She took two classes of ninety minutes. Boom. She got her driver's license. Yeah. That's what just uh, I was about to say that it's easy. it was the easy. Yeah, in UK is a little and bit cheap. Yeah, in UK is a little bit more difficult. You have to do um, classes to uh, like driving uh, lessons uh, with a licensed uh, instructor to classify to go and take a test. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I I just remember watching a video where a lady was getting trying to pass and get her uh, her driver's license. Where? In, it was just I, in the U.S. In the U.S. In the U.S. <clears throat> and the instructor said you failed. Like it's just you're just terrible. And she goes, Oh no! Like I'm so sorry. Like what could I have done better? And the guy goes, Listen, if you just answer this question correctly, you know, you'll I'll pass you. And he goes, What? Uh, he's like, So you're answer correctly. <laughs> so you you're you're pulling up to a uh, you're pulling up to a light and you see three people walking across an older man. Um, a mother and the child uh, yeah what what do you what do you do and she goes oh well i'll hit the old man because he's already lived his life oh. and he goes no you're supposed to stop <laughs> <laughs> you see but you know it may be you know the the drive the the, the driver's uh, license test uh, over easy. here it might be too easy, but it's very similar to what it is in Brazil. Uh, you just go and take your test, and then if you pass, you pass. If you don't pass, and but then you have you go to take a practice. lot of classes now. You be, it's, well, nowadays it's, I don't it's know. It's a thousand dollars. Look, it's a thousand dollars for your first driver's license. Thousand dollars. Rios or American dollars. U.S. dollars. Yes, five thousand reais now to get a license, and then you have to go to I don't know, like fifty hours of driver. You know, but, but also we have so to. But they're in UK then. Well, yeah, that's, but, I don't know how it is here too. Like once you're past a certain age, but like that. My experience getting a driver's license, you had to document a certain amount. Like it was a six hours. month period. You had to document a certain amount of hours driving. It's not like you could just walk in, take a test, and you get your license. I drove. But I don't know how it is now. I drove for 120 days with my Brazilian driver's license here. I can, I can drive it anywhere, yeah. right? So, um, and then after that, you have to to take your. But I just said, look, I have a. I've been having a driver's license since. Whatever I won't say here, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. But he's my age, so yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm 47. I don't know how old he is. Yes. Um, so <laughs> yeah, and then it was it was so easy. Less than three minutes. Less than three minutes. Yeah, over here. It's, it's, it's well, fun. I would argue then, if anything, just getting the, your driver's license in general could be a little bit more extensive. But I don't know that there's a special license you need okay. to drive these type of Yeah, answering any question, right? Yeah. Just restructuring what I think they could change. Instead of a new driver's license for that, maybe make it a little bit more difficult and more extensive practicing. Just and like an extra, yeah, just an act, you know, like just an act. That's why I say it's a special license because just I'm maybe a module that. That's not much different from getting like your motorcycle's license. That's a different yeah. license, a different test. So, but I mean, you know, it's not crazy, but it's just, it sets a precedent for stuff. Well, you know, I live out on the lake and I am telling you, there's people that rent boats. You see that? <laughs> yeah. They're number one, they, they, they don't drink. know what they're doing. 
It has no brakes. <laughs> and uh-huh. there's no lines. And the road's going like this. Exactly. That's and excellent point. And a lot of them have been drinking. Yeah. Boats yeah. are really dangerous. I agree. Man. Boats are dangerous. Yes. <laughs> right. Boats are down. dangerous. From a boat driver. Yeah. yeah. Perspective. <laughs> yeah. There was a boat driver. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree so, with that too. I think we have all rented boats. You yeah. Know, like, and yeah. With my driver's license? Seriously? My driver's <laughs> license? You covered that boat? Oh my God. For, for yeah. us, it's it's impossible. You know, I would have to, to get a license to get into a boat. Yeah, well, welcome to America, where you can just do what you want. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. why I've <laughs> <That's why laughs> been here for five years. Yeah. For <laughs> better or for worse. Yeah. Well, well yeah. <laughs> and on I that, embrace it's this. the Wild West. I embrace it. And yeah, on that bombshell, and on that bombshell, I um, <laughs> believe you. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Corin, take us off. Oh, all right. Thank you very much for another great... Oh, sorry, George. No, sorry, I'm sorry. Gonna, look, I'm, I'm pretty good. Okay. Um, thank you very much for joining us for another great episode of the Puff Drink Talk podcast. And uh, as always, please like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends because we really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah Carol, cool. thank you very much for joining thank us. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Good. Well, thank you, everyone, and have a great night. See you next week. Voila.